Good afternoon, Paramata. Uh, so the 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 one that I that I will preach today is in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 5 to 7. This is what the Lord says: Cursed is the man who trusts in men, who draws his strength from mere flesh, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. That person will be like a bush in the wasteland. They will not see prosperity when it comes. They will dwell in the parched places of the desert, in a salt where no one lives. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence in Him is in Him. Whenever we have problems, worries, and troubles in life, we always try to rely on our friends, our families, or to other closest friends when we we have. We think that their words are, can comfort our hearts, can comfort our minds, but at times you felt like you are not contented with the kind of comforts they have given you. You are searching for a comfort that can content your heart and mind. We always forgot that the Lord is there, up above, listening and watching over us. He wants us to turn to Him because the Lord, all your words will disappear when you seek the Word of God. Verse 5 said, Curse is the one who trusts in man, who draws his strength from mere flesh, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. This verse reminds us that we should not rely to our fellow men, but instead, when you have troubles in life, turn to him and he will end up your troubles in life. The word of God can heal a sick person. It can turn your life into something new. The word of God is like a seed. Though it may look so small seed, but it has a life on it. And once it grows in your heart, it changes your actions and it will become a good deed. Action is very different from deed. Action is the usual things that we do every day, like eating, walking, or the usual things that you do in your life. But this is that we have to work to accomplish something good in the eyes of the Lord. In the time of the end, or should I say, when the judgment day comes, all of us will be judged based on the words that our hearts and deeds have spoken. It is not only our hearts that will be judged, but our deeds also. Have we accomplished something good in the eyes of the Lord? Ask yourself now if you have accomplished good things in the eyes of the Lord. Then, have you asked yourself how God will judge us in the, in the judgment day? Then I will tell you, the Bible that I am holding right now is the word, or it, it, or the Bible that I am holding right now is the one that God will use in the judgment day. He had given us these words so that we may have a guide when the judgment day comes. In John chapter 1, chapter 14, verse 429. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. And it's not only our hearts will be judged, as I have said, also our deeds, because our deeds will show the words that our hearts contain. Remember as the saying goes, action speaks louder than words. You know, when God's work, He always starts with small things, and eventually, he will turn it into something big so that we may be able to see his mighty power and we may believe. Sometimes we tend to forget that there is God in our life. Instead of surrendering to him your worries in life, you tend to keep it by yourself or sometimes you run to other people. But that is not what God wants us to do. So surrender all your worries, troubles and problems to him because his words will restore you. In John chapter 6, verse 63, the spirit gives life, the flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the spirit and life. For the word of God will restore our lives so that we may live on the life that he chose us to live. If you will trust the Lord with all your heart, you will be blessed forever. Amen.